a deep breath and relax. Now, tell us everything you remember of the night of that shooting. The night of the accident. What's the first thing that comes to mind? Well, Sonny had been shot. And I went to the garage to find him, and there's a puddle of blood on the ground. His blood. I was terrified. Still great. What happened next? I went to the emergency room to find Sonny. And we... we fought because he told me that he was going to go after Anthony. So I told him that we were over and I left. And the next thing I remember, I was looking at my closet at, at the bloodstained wedding dress. And then I put it on. Okay, that's, that's the point that Connie took over. But you've never been able to remember this before, okay? That's, this is real progress, okay? What, what next? And then I went to the pier. And that's when you found me, Doctor. I was what? so confused and disoriented. I, I didn't know how I got there or why I was wearing that dress. So you were, you were Kate again, and you confessed to me that you'd been having blackouts. And you wanted to help me? But I, I just wanted to get out of there, so I ran off. Okay, that's when Connie told me she took, she took control and she went after Anthony. Do you remember that? No, I don't. I promise. The last thing I remember is that I was climbing the steps of the pier. You don't remember shooting at Anthony's car? No, I don't remember driving anywhere. What's the next thing you know for sure? I, I was back in my office. It was uh -huh. morning. The sun was shining through the window. I was staring in the mirror at... I still had my wedding dress on. Olivia came in. She saw you in the wedding dress. Yes, and she was appalled. I made up something. I don't right. think she believed me, but why should she? And and then I put I put on my work clothes. Olivia left. Uh, I tried to, to give myself something to do to stay busy, and that's when you came in. Uh, gun had already been planted. I don't remember the gun, Sonny. I don't remember holding it or shooting it. Is that it. unusual that there's one memory missing? Well, Connie confessed to you. What, what did she say? She didn't. The gun? She didn't say where she got the gun. She just said that she tailed Anthony, and then she shot out his tires. Came to the the office, planted the gun, because she knew I would show up there eventually. I don't understand. As soon as I remembered what triggered Connie's emergence all those years ago, we began to share memories. I, re I remember everything she did, how she plotted against you, how she attacked you, how she slept with Johnny. I remembered all the horrible things that she did. Why can't I remember this one? Do you recall buying the gun? Holding one? No, I don't remember. What if Connie was lying? What do you mean? Well, I mean, she hates me. What, what if she was lying about shooting up? Why would she lie about something so horrible? Be maybe Sonny. because she wanted me to turn my back on you. Would that would that give reason for her not to remember anything? No, no, it's too early. You guys are grasping at straws uh, to make me look innocent. I killed a man and his no, daughter. No, no, I am no. responsible. No, Connie is responsible, not you. Sonny, Connie is a part of me. I, I had the gun in no, my hand. No, it wasn't you. Don't, stop saying that. I'm sorry, you know what? I just, I feel like I'm making this worse, so. No, 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 it, it, it's, it's probably too soon for Kate to, to be able to remember the incident. She's too overwhelmed by it, so. However, there's, there's another possibility. Connie originally emerged to, to deal with the truth that, that Kate couldn't face. Perhaps that's still the case. Connie protected Kate from everything that's out in the open right now. So what's, what are you talking about? I agree. I agree. Right. She's confronted all the triggers to the altar. Not just the triggers, Doctor. Everything that's happened since. Having sex with Johnny, hitting you with the paperweight. And yet, for, for some reason, Connie is, is choosing to, to keep this event from you that, that appears to be tied to that accident. But I already know what happened. Two people are dead because of me. You need to, you need to rest first, and we'll deal with the rest later. Yeah, this, this is enough one. No, I don't want to rest. I want to, have... I want to keep going, Sonny. There's no, there's no point in forcing in your mind to obey, okay? It, it, it's only going to stress you out. No, no, but I, I don't. I just want to find out. I want to know right now. You will soon. Okay, I'll be back tomorrow and we'll explore this further. Doctor, Let's... anything that Connie did at this point could not be worse than what I already know. Give yourself time to process. Okay, the, the memory may surface at any moment. I hate Connie. I hate what she's done. Mm. But you know what? At the same time, 
I'm glad that I finally know why she existed. Why she tried to protect me. I'm sorry. What? Well, what are you sorry about? Do you, you know no, that you... I'll tell you you're what. You're the reason why I can do this. Listen. For so many years, I thought that you had walked out on me. And I didn't know that you were the one that was going through so much and you had to deal with somebody like Joe Jr. You know, one of my memories came back. Do you remember the morning after we didn't run away? And I was so afraid to talk to you that you would ask me things and want answers. And I was afraid that, that I would break down and I would tell you what he did to me. And that you'd go after him and that you would ruin your life. I wish you'd have just let me help you. Do you know how much you're helping me right now, Sonny? Do you know how much this means to me? You stand by me while I tell you my darkest secrets. Well, you better get used to it because, uh... I'm not going anywhere, all right? I love you. You don't have to come back tomorrow. Hey, you don't worry about that. Uh, you just get your rest. That's all I care about. Well, I don't think I'll be able to until I tell the PCPD that oh, I'm no, the no, one that no, killed no, no, no. kill no, those no, people. No, listen to me, okay? I don't want you thinking about that. Sonny, you almost went to prison for a crime that I committed. I was acquitted. There's no reason for you to go forward. The investigation is still going on. Even if I don't remember causing that accident, I don't want them going after another innocent person. 